Mood disorders involve prolonged and disrupted emotional states that affect thoughts, behaviors, and relationships, and also increase the risk for suicide. One of the most serious mood disorders is major depressive disorder, which is also called clinical depression. This disorder is characterized by sadness, irritability, and an inability to feel pleasure. Other symptoms include sleep disturbance, fatigue, hopelessness, weight and appetite changes, and trouble thinking or remembering things. Depression can occur at any age, but becomes more common during the teen years. In fact, about 13% of all American adolescents will experience an episode of major depressive disorder, along with 6% of American adults. Some people will have just one episode, while others may have recurring episodes throughout their life. Other individuals may develop persistent depressive disorder, which used to be called dysthymia. This is a chronic, mild depression that can last at least two years. It has many of the same symptoms as major depression, but with lower levels of severity. Depression has a strong genetic component. So a person with a parent or sibling who's been diagnosed with major depression has a higher likelihood of being diagnosed with it themselves. Depression can also be triggered by life events, such as losing a loved one, experiencing abuse, negative life changes, or social isolation. The other main category of mood disorders are bipolar disorders. Bipolar disorders typically involve alternating periods of depression and mania. Mania is defined as feelings of euphoria, high self-esteem and high energy, little need for sleep and bursts of creativity. And on the surface, these might seem like positive traits. However, mania also includes racing thoughts and reckless behavior. Brain scans show that transitions between depressive and manic episodes are linked to clear differences in brain activity, with heightened activity occurring during the manic states and lowered activity happening during depressive states. Much like depressive disorders, there are many variants of bipolar disorder based on the severity of manic and depressive episodes. For a diagnosis of bipolar 1 disorder, people must experience at least one manic episode, which may be preceded or followed by a major depressive episode. For a diagnosis of bipolar 2 disorder, people must experience at least one major depressive episode along with a period of hypomania, a less severe form of mania. About 4% of Americans will experience bipolar disorder in their lifetime. Both depressive and bipolar disorders increase the risk for suicidal thoughts and behaviors, but there are several other risk factors that it's also important to be aware of. These can include some more obvious factors, such as making threats of suicide, having a clear plan to commit suicide, and access to means to commit suicide. Because of this, these threats should always be taken seriously. However, there are also other factors that seem to correlate with suicide that might be a bit more subtle. These can include environmental factors, such as a recent loss, but can also include behavioral factors, such as substance abuse, social withdrawal, impulsivity, and expressions of recklessness or rage. They might also experience psychological symptoms such as hopelessness. They may talk about being a burden to others, as well as symptoms such as panic attacks or chronic physical pain. It's important to know that asking people about suicide does not make them more likely to commit suicide. When someone is thinking about killing themselves, they're less likely to follow through with it if they can talk about it with somebody, preferably a mental health professional. So always be sure to reach out if you or someone you love may be experiencing thoughts or risk factors for suicide. If you are experiencing thoughts of suicide, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, 1-800-273-8255, to talk to a clinician on the line.